Simple Diagnostics There are a large number of tools available in the SmoothWall to help with simple diagnostics. Here we will look at some of the most common, starting with SmoothWall Real-Time Reports. Navigating to Reports Real-Time System, we can see if there are any current errors on the system and when certain services are stopped and restarted as the system operates. Manually restarting a service while looking at this report is helpful as you are able to see what the error is when the service restarts. At the top of the page, there is a drop-down option to select a specific service. It will now only show entries relating to the system section you've chosen, making your view clearer. If your network utilizes a SmoothWall Firewall, the Real-Time Firewall report is located in Reports Real-Time Firewall. This report shows a live view of the firewall logs as present on the SmoothWall. Where there isn't an in and an out configured, it means that the traffic was directed at the smooth wall, so it is effectively being blocked by the smooth wall. If there is an in as well as an out, the smooth wall has transferred the traffic out of another interface. You are able to see the source and destination ports and IP addresses as well as protocol. As with the previous report, the results can be filtered to give clarity to this view. Reports Real-Time Portal shows when an end user of the portal has logged on and off and when they have adjusted a policy. The view also shows if an end user has difficulty logging in, which may warrant further investigation. This report is helpful for troubleshooting as the log also serves as an audit record of end user changes to policies made within the portal. The Real-Time Web Filter Report shows live browsing and can be found by browsing to Reports Real-Time Web Filter. This is useful to understand why a particular site isn't displaying properly, why an application isn't working as it should, or to check the policy for a user or groups of users. In this test system, we see the live browsing of a user in the group students. The report allows you to view activity by any of your user groups. If we pick staff, we will see our user disappear. To check if a particular site is blocked, enter it into the URL box. The view will now only show matching entries. In this example, Facebook has been denied within the category Social Networking. Hovering over the policy displays the detail of the rule and is also a link which can take you directly to the rule should you want to edit it. It is useful to filter down to an IP address by entering it into the source IP field. In this example, it may match all IPs that start with five as the fourth octet. To stop that from happening, select the dropdown for exact match. Browsing to Reports, Real-Time, Search Terms, you can see what is being searched for on the system. This is useful to understand if a certain search term or phrase is being picked up within a particular category. The Reports, Real-Time, Traffic Graphs give a real-time interface and host bandwidth usage figure, which is constantly updated. This can be really useful if an end user is experiencing a slow internet speed. This view will enable you to identify if a particular machine is consuming a lot of bandwidth. Activities such as updates or backups can be a common cause of high usage, which can be identified within the traffic graph. For each real-time report, there is an associated historical log where you are able to go back and look at what happened at a particular moment in time. These are found in the section Reports Logs. For example, it could be useful to see if there was a problem with the web filter on a particular day when an end user reported a problem. Browsing to Reports, Logs, Log Settings, you can configure how long logs are retained, with the exception of the web filter and search term logs. By default, it is one month, although it can be changed using the default retention dropdown. Clicking on the Advanced buttons allows the configuration to be set by individual logs. 
In the section Automatic Log Deletion, you can check a box to delete the old logs when disk space becomes low and define the amount of space to use within your system for logging. The Other Logging section relates to web filter and search terms. In Reports, Settings, Data Store, there is a slider which allows you to choose how long to retain data relating to web filter and search term reports. Typically, this is set to keep data for a maximum of 12 months and a minimum of 3. Drag the slider to select your preference. When you have selected the appropriate settings for your organization, click Save. In this view, you can also see how much storage various parts of the system are currently using. For those who are new to SmoothWall, this page contains a helpful tool that estimates how much storage room you will use. This is helpful if you are using your own hardware or have concerns about how much space you may need. Click Usage Estimates and you will see a prediction that has been calculated based on the usage patterns of the previous 31 days. Alerting in the SmoothWall can be found under Reports, Alerts, Alerts. The alerting system relies on two things being in place. First, you must have an SMTP server configured in Reports, Settings, Output Settings. Secondly, you must have a group of users configured to receive email alerts in Reports, Settings, Groups. Here we will see a reporting users group has been configured. Alerts will be sent at a five minute interval by default or instantaneously by clicking the Enable Instantaneous Alerts tick box. Click next to an alert to enable it. Helpful alerts which are commonly used include hardware failure alerts, hard disk failure, license expiry status warning, system resource monitor, and system service monitoring, which details the services which are running on the system. If you have multiple interfaces configured, the SmoothWall can also send an alert if one of them is down by enabling Connection Monitor. This is very useful for the UTM. Administrative login failures is helpful to understand if a keen end user is trying to guess the end user password. Update monitoring will let you know when SmoothWall have released an update, which can help if you don't regularly log on to your SmoothWall. System Reboot is another common notification. When you have chosen the alerts you want your group to receive, press Save. In this example, we have selected a large number of alerts, so that when we navigate to Reports, Alerts, Alert Settings, we can illustrate the types of settings that you are able to configure. In System Service Monitoring, if you have an SWG or UTM, Ensure that you tick Web Content Filter and Web Proxy to monitor the web filtering service. Other services that are helpful to monitor are Authentication and DNS Proxy Service. Again, tick the services which you would like to be alerted on. Click Save to retain your settings. If you are on a metered internet connection, it may be useful to set alerts to know the total amount of traffic that has gone through your system. Here in Bandwidth Monitor, you can set an alert to let you know when a certain number of megabytes has been transferred in a period. An alert can also be set for individual applications. For example, you get an alert when there's been a lot of remote desktop usage. It may be that you don't want to lock down remote desktop because it is useful for support purposes, but you may want to know when a lot of activity has happened as this might be a way to identify a user trying to work around the system. It may also be useful for SIEM type monitoring. This has given an insight into the SmoothWall logs and alerts available for simple diagnostics, including the commonly used alerts and how they can be customized. The SmoothWall Online Help gives a deeper insight into all of the available features, or alternatively, see our video on the tools available for advanced troubleshooting.